So I've already done my Christmas review. So I did my whole Christmas review video and I wanted to hold one thing back for a very special solo review. And that was In the Land of the Almond Trees, a story by Loxitown's advent calendar, because I thought I would do an unboxing video so that you can find out the same time as me, what is in each of the things. Now, I know it's a little bit early, Technically, an advent calendar, you're meant to not open them until December, so then you start day one, day two, day three, day four. But in order to review this and show you all of the special pretty that's inside, I thought I'd do a little bit of a cheat thing and then like pop them back in so that I can pretend to be surprised every day after I get them. Oh, this smells good already. I've undone the bow and it opens up to this beautiful little story. How cute is that? So it's got a history of almond trees in Provence, in France. So it's got in 1956, and then in 2000, and then 2003, and then today. So each box is labeled, not in order, so you've got to kind of go hunting. So where's number one? What's in number one? The numbers are kind of hard to read, but it's kind of amazing. It's kind of, they're hidden in all the little 23, 22, there's number one. We have, which is down here, beautiful L'Occitane en Provence Precious Cream. So this is a face cream, I believe, Precious Facial Cream. So it's a little, little sample of that one in day one. Pop it back in so that future Liz can be surprised by her beautiful face cream. Where is number two? Two, 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 hello, where are you? Okay, so two is over here. In the little shop front, we have, oh, I love this one. Got a little sample of the ultra rich lip balm. Gorgeous stuff. That is so good in winter. It's almost, you can't go through winter without it. These numbers are hard to find. It's really gorgeous, but it's kind of hard to find the numbers. Three, okay, so three is up the top in the little section up here with the little man. So in number three, oh, some rose hand cream. No, no, I'm putting it back. I'm putting it back. I'm putting it back. There's number four. Surely this is going to get a little bit easier towards the end, but everything is so luxe inside that I'm forgiving them for letting me have to hunt around for things. Let's see what's in four. Mmm. It's from the Ultra Rich range and it is a sample, a deluxe sample of their 25% Shea Butter Ultra Rich Cream. Now I can already spot number five, which is good because I had to hunt for the rest. Number five is right here above the little shop. This one is from their, again, another hand cream. It's the Almond Amand, I think it's pronounced, Amand Mons of Coco, a la Mande de Provence with Almond from Provence. Delicious hands. Now I'm going to stop showing you where they are so that you can do your own hunting because it's part of the game. So I'm just going to go hunt for number six. Found it, not telling you where. Oh, it's a little, um, <laughs> it's a little bath bomb. Oh, wow. That has such a big, it's called effervescent, effervescent. So not a bath bomb, it's a fancy bath bomb. It's an effervescent, why can't I say effer, effervescent? Effervescent, it's an effervescent revitalizing sugar cube for the bath with essential oils and mint pine rosemary scent. Effervescent. Oh, I've just noticed that inside there's these little tips for different things. So this one says, Air dry, reduce your carbon footprint and use the power of the sun and the sun and the wind to dry your clothes. And the first one said, imagine, close your eyes and visualize a cleaner, greener world. So I guess this is a little story on how you can be a little bit more sustainable. Revitalize, feel the warmth of the sun on your face, exercise in the great outdoors. So I'll let you undo all of the rest of those little things so that you can get your own little surprise. What number will we up to? Number seven, right at the start. <gasps> More hand cream. This is a hand cream lover's dream. So this one here is the Lavande de Haute Provence, which is the lavender oil from Provence. 
This one's really good. Lavender is always great for calming. Calm. Anything calm, calm, calm. You want lavender. And this one says, be cool and turn your heating down. I've got to stop revealing what they all say because I know I'm doing an unboxing, but I want some surprises for you. Eight, eight, eight. Oh, eight's my fave. Eight is a little bottle of the almond shower oil. Now this stuff's great because you rub it on in the shower. It's kind of weird. So it says this shower oil transforms when contact with water into a delicate foam that cleanses the body. So it looks like an oil, but then when you put it on, it lathers up and then leaves your body feeling so moisturized. And I'm not gonna tell you what the hint is on that one, but it's a good one. Number nine. Number nine is Oh, it's a light comforting cream, 5% shea. I think it's facial cream. Yes, a light comforting facial cream with 5% shea butter. Most people won't be putting these back into their calendar. That's a little bit more difficult than taking them out. Okay, 10, 10, 10. Give me number 10. Ah, here we go, 10. Ah, another one from the Almond Collection. Almond. It's the milk concentrate so this one what is this i haven't used this one before a melting cream helps the body feel firmer and smoother let me feel what this feels like mm. firmer and smoother and smells delightful as always 11's back up the top in the little garden <gasps> it's my favorite i know i said the other one was my favorite but this is my favorite it's the verbena body lotion this smells like heaven to me like a lemony, zesty, fresh. It's just great. It's just great. That's 11. I'm so impressed with the size of the samples that they have in this. Like they're really substantial. That could last you a couple of months for sure. 12. Oh, no, this is my bestie's favorite hand cream. This one here. This is the cherry blossom hand cream. I'm trying to get it without some shine. No, nope. it just wants to shine. So that's the Cherry Blossom hand cream. This one is probably one of the nicest smelling hand creams that they have. Um, if you're not a fan of fragrance, you're not gonna be a fan of this one, but my bestie puts it on and every time I smell it, I just am reminded that she's in Sydney and I'm here. Halfway. So we're at number 13, which is right next to 12, which is kind of convenient so I don't have to go hunting. Huh, now I've not used this before. It's a shampooing shampoo, shampooing shampoo, apparently. So it's got five essential oils in it. What does it say? Formulated with a natural origin vegetables complex and five essential oils, angelica, lavender, geranium, lang lang, and that sweet orange. This shampoo helps soft and smooth capillary fiber. Nope, that's not right. Helps soften and smooth capillary fiber. Your hair is left looking and feeling supple, shiny, and silky. So this one, what does it smell like? Hmm, yeah, I quite like that. So that was 13. Now, 14, where is 14? You'd think this will get easier as it goes along, but it's really not. So 14 over here. So this, is a, number 14 is a little ultra thirst quenching cream. So it's another facial cream for ultra thirst quenching. So, so this is a really good one for if your skin needs a little bit of loving in terms of moisture. So that's a cute little sample Anyone, there. one, 15? This is my mum's favorite. This is the 20% shea butter hand cream. You will never not find this in my mum's room. She has some beside her bed so she can start the day with a little bit of hand cream. She has a tub of the body butter inside the lounge room so that while she's watching TV, she can massage and moisturize her legs. It's a, it's a household staple. Almost there, 16, where are you? Oh, cute. So we've got a little bar of the milk gentle soap. No, extra gentle soap, sorry, with shea butter. I just can't say words today. So it smells very fresh and clean, this one. There's another hand cream and it is another hand, well, it's sort of, it's a hand balm for intensive, very dry skin. So gardeners, here's what you want. And that's 17, 18, 18, 18, 18. Ooh, 18's a big one. Opening up. It's soap from the Verbena range, which I really love. And it's in the shape of a little leaf. 
which is super cute. I love the verbena. It just smells, there's something about it that just instantly peps me up. Number 19. 19's at the top, it's the same size as the hand creams, but it's not a hand cream. It is the shampooing conditioner. So it's the conditioner companion to the five oils shampoo that we got somewhere around number 13. 20. What's happening December 20? December 20. Uh. Nice. It's the Vervin Cooling Vervin. Vervin. I can't say French words. I'm part French and I can't say French words very well. Uh, the Cooling Cream Hand Gel. So a beautiful, again, the gels are always really good for hotter climates. So if you're in a hotter climate, okay, Brisbane like me in Queensland, Australia, these cooling gels are beautiful in summer. Oh, we're getting right to the end. What's in 21? More verbena. This one's the shower gel. Love it. 22, 22, 22. I keep ripping the box and it's really pretty. So be really careful when you're opening it so you don't rip the pretty story. Oh, here we go. Cherry blossom gel. So it's bath and shower gel. Again, this is going to remind me of my bestie. It's just such a nice fragrance and it just reminds me of her. 23. So this one, oh, foot cream, foot cream. So this is the 15% shea butter foot cream for dry skin. I am set up forever with this kit. This is like, it's an advent calendar, but it's like a year and a half's worth of samples. There's no way I'll get through, like you could, you could set yourself up for a whole year with this one set. Okay, 24. 24 is a very big one. 24 is the big one on any advent calendar because 25 is Christmas. So we've got a water gel cleanser from the Aqua Réautier range. Let's hope I said that right. So this says it is a gentle water gel cleanser turning into a supple lather to eliminate impurities acquired throughout the day. So there you have it. Samples for almost an entire year. You've got hand creams, foot creams, facial cleansers, shampoo, conditioner, everything that you could want to stay nice and fresh and amazing smelling for an entire year is in this advent calendar. And the illustrations are just gorgeous. Like ignore the fact that I've ripped some things and some things are half open. This is just pretty. So you can see why it needed its own video. Advent calendars are great. I am not super religious, but look, it's a massive step up from the tiny little chocolate ones that I had when I was a kid. If you want to fill my advent calendar with beauty products and give me something every day leading up to Christmas, I'm in. And the L'Occitane advent calendar is probably my favorite so far of all of the ones that I've looked at. And there have been a lot. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, sneaky advent calendar is a really good way to get samples.